Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, like I said, I'm actually, um, up until like last year, I'd say I was Democratic, but now I am starting to have more and more like philosophical, intellectual conversations with the people around me. And it's making me swing more right as far as like uh, making you know, me not, not like it qu questioning all my assumptions. Like basically I, what I have learned in the last like three months is that the things that I thought were facts were actually feelings, yeah. which yes. caused yeah. me to, Man, that's a good point. which caused me to like that's question huge. everything. And now I don't even that's know huge. what I know. I don't believe like I question my own knowledge. So that, that's, that's, I love, that, I love that he said that. That's how Hello, ladies and gentlemen of the internet, welcome to a new ep welcome back yeah, to a new a episode of yeah, the Music Women Chaka Show. This is episode forty-three, according to my notes. Hopefully, they're right. <laughs> uh, we're back. We've been off for a year, and hopefully, I can get this ball rolling again. My name is Louis Menchaca. I'm your host, and to my right are my brothers. The last two episodes dedic were dedicated to them, actually. Awesome. We have the marketing guru, Carlo Menchaca. Yeah, what's going on, everybody? And the soldier of fortune, Juan Menchaca. What's going on, guys? There you go. See? I think I got it. <laughs> <laughs> My first try, got it. All right. You can follow me on Twitter at Chocolaka88, PSN, Nintendo Network, XBL, and uh, Nintendo Network actually has been defunct now, so scratch that one. Steam at Chocolaka88. There you go. There you go. Um, that's it. Let's go ahead and get into it. I got nothing much to promote other than, hey, smash or pass, fuck. Four. 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 Smash or Pass 4 is on July 3rd, I think. July 7th? July 7th. <laughs> July 4th think, is a holiday, man. July 4th is Wednesday, <laughs> yeah. and then that Saturday it after the, the next 4th one, of July yeah. is that one. There, there you, you go. go. All right, so we're going to be getting into some heavy things, very, very uh, dis divisive uh, topics. So if you are very trigger happy or you get triggered too easily, this is not the show for you. But if you want to see our opinions and how we like just discuss through these these high uh, hot button topics, you know, stick around and let's see and let me know if you agree uh, and we can have a discussion in the comment section below. First things first, before we even get into the heavy stuff, I want to start us off by going into something easy, very non non controversial, very <laughs> fun. You just never something. Know, man. It might be controversial. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My turn. It's yeah. simulating a gun. Yeah. It's uh, yeah. violence. Yeah. violence. It's, which yeah. is why we're in the position we're in in America. Yeah. First topic <laughs> is Farpoint. This is a game that came out in May of last year, and it's a virtual reality game where it, you simulate it's actually badass, holding by the way. A, a gun. It's like yeah. holding an AR-15. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> not quite, not quite. <laughs> no. it's, it's pretty good. Yeah. So uh, this is a VR game. You you um, It tracks your motion perfectly. You can aim down sights by raising the gun. It has a trigger. You, you move around. It's yeah. very, uh, it's like, you're like playing um, as a male version of Ellen Ripley, or is that her name? Yeah, almost. I think that's that. her name. Yeah. yeah. Ripley. Ripley. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, Ripley. Yeah. So Gordon Weaver's Sigourney Weaver. uh, yeah. character. Her character was Rip Ripley. Yeah. So it's basically like you're playing as Ripley. Yeah. And, and uh, the face hugger coming at you, you blow him away. Exactly. It's, cool. it's intense, actually. So, so what was your first uh, impressions about playing the game? Holy moly! This is a. I got to play it, and it was it was pretty realistic at first. So My heart rate went up. Yeah, I was sweating, you know, uh, I could feel the music changing with the mood and and the first freaking spider slash face hugger thing that came out, man, I was, I was like, it made me like jolt. Yeah, um, the audio is actually pretty awesome. The audio is really great. A 360 it's, audio? Yeah, 360 oh, yeah. audio is When you really, heard really the good. spiders behind you and everything yeah. like that. Yeah. Um, around I, and you're like, what the heck? I loved it when my niece, when she got so scared that she actually stepped back oh, yeah. like a couple of feet as if it was right, <laughs> in, it was front right in front of her. He yeah, <laughs> like she's like, ah, and then backing away and stuff. Yeah, this this game actually makes you very paranoid as you're playing it, yeah. uh, which I think is, is really cool. And it makes my, like, it made my heart rate go up because I, I felt like I was going to get attacked at any moment. So <laughs> it was pretty cool. Yeah. Pretty awesome. Yes, um, I think that's about it. I think we I can recommend get, uh, it. Yeah. We can get, we... Oh, two thumbs up, sure. Yes. On the game. Is this a uh, is this a good uh, uh, training for how to shoot in real life? No, <laughs> uh, no, but it's a game. I will tell you that a lot of people don't know how they'll react when shit goes down, and this will definitely help. I'll out tell you that. exactly how you'll react. Uh, yeah. All right. So we've been away for about a year. A lot of shits happened in the last year. 
I switched to Android. That's a big deal. I know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <that's> a, <laughs> came to the right side. <laughs> yeah. So with that said, uh, we're just going to hit topics that aren't necessarily like sequential order or anything and like last, that. yeah not sequential order but definitely like this these topics didn't happen yesterday i'll tell you that for the moment no. they've been they've been part of a larger discussion that's been, been going on for a while yeah so we're just gonna hit them so where and do we then, let me add something okay. to this uh, these are topics that all of us have at, at work or amongst our closest friends and family members um you know and 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 you may not realize how you feel about it until you know you hear these type of conversations so you know like like lewis said you know, if you have your trigger, you know, this is going to really boil your your your, your blood. Um, you know, it's not something for us to make you mad or upset. Maybe it's just to start a, a topic or a conversation, you know, and you could comment below. And, you know, I, we'll, be, we'll be very responsive. I'll um, reply to all comments. We're not hateful or anything like that. Uh, you know, we respect everybody, everybody's opinion. And, and uh, this is just, again, a way for us to vent and also for us to kind of bring these things to light and maybe start a conversation with uh, some of our closest friends yep so basically water cooler talk happening right yeah now. pretty much but not even not even good ones like the controversial ones exactly <sighs> let's talk about religion i'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> did you get my text yesterday about that that's no. that's pretty funny uh -huh. you didn't see that i said i'm gonna talk about religion anyways yeah. oh actually no yeah you did yeah yeah i yeah, remember I'll, now. Okay, i'm gonna talk, talk about religion, religion. Yeah. i'm like oh and i hit all like, the other hard ones and he said all right i'll, I'll talk about religion <laughs> <laughs> now what we, what, we, what we won't do is locker room talk We'll, ah, we'll, we'll leave that up to ah, Trump to do that. Yeah, okay, good. No, Sorry. Here, we'll leave that up to uh, to all that pillow talk that he does with the the prostitutes. There you go. Yeah. There you Shots go. fired. That's the there you go. <laughs> all right. So uh, I guess that's the first topic. Uh, Trump. Um, he got elected since the last time we recorded a podcast, I think. Sure. And, no, and, was and, and did, to did make he? things very clear and did interesting, he? if we want to go around. Um, what our political, not affiliations, but what our po political beliefs are. So that way it's clear to the people that are listening to this, know that, you know, we're not necessarily biased towards anything. I think we're all pretty balanced out here. But um, if you want to say, you know, what, what you're, why are you getting real personal? <laughs> well, no, no, because, well, because we're going to talk about these things. Right. And for example, I'll, I'll, start, off, I'll start off. I'll start off. Actually, I, I was um, a Trump supporter at first. Um, and then I, I, I was listening to a lot of stuff going on, and as the uh, date approached for us to vote, um, you know, I, I I did swing towards towards Hillary, uh, but I will tell you that it was like last minute uh, things that came up that, that made me feel that way. But I am a uh, Republican per se. Mm -hmm. uh, think I, I think like a Republican. I'm more uh, uh, right than I am, you know, uh, a Democrat, and I definitely did see firsthand. Uh, what a uh, Obama administration and some of the the things he did for um, you know his voters, but I will say that any party, any political uh, figure needs a good leader, and I don't think Trump is a good uh, leader. So, anyways, that, that I just want people to know What's your affiliation? what my affiliation. Yeah. So I guess I'll say what I am. Um, I'm a Republican. Um, I used to think I was a Democrat, but then when I actually finally got into the political scene, I realized that my thought processes were more right, more conservative, mm -hmm. more left. Yeah. Um, I have some liberal ideas. You know, I'm not completely, you know, like an extremist right person. Um, you know, so this is Republican, like total right Republican. This is Democrat. And this, the middle is right here. I'm about right of center, about quarter center. You know, in there somewhere. So it kind of depends on the leadership, the style. Yeah. You know that Big goes time. with it. So, you know, so for everybody out there, I'm a Republican. I'm about to turn thirty, so that means I'm turning into a Republican. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it works that no, way. No, no. Like okay. I've heard a, I've heard a, a phrase. Youngsters, a lot of youngsters do yeah, tend to go more left, towards left. Uh, the Democrat. Yeah, like I've, I heard a, a, a phrase saying that, like if you're. Um, after a certain age, mm -hmm. you you become a Republican, and if you're still a Democrat at that certain age, you're just not you just don't have enough life experiences to know any better. <laughs> well, you're not improving your life, yeah. you know, because the more uh, experience you have, the better work that you have, the more money you make, the more taxes you pay. So yes, you know that that does change your 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 uh, your point of view. Yeah. So you know? I mean, like I said, I'm actually um, up until like last year, I'd say I was Democratic, but now I am starting to have more and more like philosophical intellectual conversations with the people around me and it's making me swing more right as far as like uh 
making you know, me not not like it's qu questioning all my assumptions like basically i what i have learned in the last like three months is that the things that i thought were facts were actually feelings yeah. which yes. caused yeah. me to Man, that's a good point which caused me to like that's question huge. everything and now i don't even that's know huge. what i know i don't believe like i question my own knowledge so that, that's that's i love that, i love that he said that that's how yeah. i started going uh back and forth I said wait a minute hold on it is based on feelings and then i started having intellectual conversations and i was like yeah, like it makes pro more sense prove your put, uh, prove your point with facts, yeah, and then well, uh, I I'm right because feelings, like right. you know, that, that's you basically know. what it. Uh, I, that's, that's how I sort of graduated, like from thinking I'm a Democrat to being an actual Republican. So that's but, where but I'm but at. I, I don't think that's natural. I think what happens mm. is we we tend to get swayed with social media, yeah. and or, and, or, it, and or, or, media, or the media or the or media itself so. or the pe or the people around you. Yeah, people around but yeah, but I'm on this journey right now, this self discovery political journey right now. So I'm. I'm in the middle right now as far as, you know, learning to let go of my feelings. and. So you maybe you, you might be a mayor one day. Yeah. <laughs> mayor! mayor. <laughs> run back to the future. Oh, I'll run for the mayor. Yeah. Sorry. So, anyways, with that said, um, let's, Are we gonna, we did, let's uh, jump in. we there. digress a little bit? Just I think we... You know, my brother wanted to make sure everybody knew what we were. Yeah. Yeah. So, are we really balanced here? I mean, we all seem to be Republicans. Right? <laughs> well, 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 like like you, I'm I am centered. There's a lot of things that that I can um, not relate to, but um, one candidate that I actually did like, it, it, you know, and I look back and I think, man, uh, Bernie Sanders. Hmm. I think back drink the Kool -Aid on and that and, one. and 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 yeah, exactly, exactly. And I think back at myself and I'm like, wow, you know, like. Was that really a good? Was he really a good candidate? I think he was, but I don't think he was the solution for what America needs now. And I think we needed somebody like a business person, like Trump, and that's kind of what made me excited about this guy. Running like a business, running you know, running government. America like a business. You know, um, what did he say? Drain the swamp? Is that what yeah. he said? Yeah. Uh, he which kind of made me, which kind of made me excited about him. But as time went on, I mean, we're talking about a year after he got elected in the office. Um, you know, things have not turned out that way. So we'll talk about that, I guess, right now. So should we, like, go and approach Trump from, like, the media slant? Like, should we talk about the media first, then? Because mm. one thing I'm going to say is that I watch a lot of uh, Seth Meyers, like, Late Night with Seth, uh, Seth Meyers. He does the a Closer Look, and he does the check-in yeah. and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, uh, stuff. John Oliver does Last mm -hmm. Week Tonight, mm -hmm. and... The media is very anti-Trump, like very super hardcore. Like the well, he's bias, an easy target. Is, the bias is in there. Yeah, and I think uh, I think it goes back to and one of the topics I want to hit up was the freedom of the press. So the problem that I have here is that um, people don't under, people need to understand that uh, the freedom of the press, which is written in the Constitution, is a check on power. Uh, it's something that we need to understand that. The press is there to make sure that they can investigate anything in the government or in society, community, or whatnot for us to be informed. So it's about informing the people. And I have a problem with any leaders that are going to battle with the media and calling everything fake. I mean, to be honest with you, <laughs> that's you're, you're in the position to defend the Constitution, then you need to defend it. You can't go against the press because that's actually in the constitution right. so for me it's like hmm you want to you want to duke it out with the press you want to make sure you go to war with the press that's for me that's like it's going against what you're supposed to do you know maybe you need to hold yourself to a higher regard and i'm talking about a leader in general and you know mm -hmm. someone in that high regard just needs to understand exactly. that the freedom of the press is there for a reason <clears throat> if everything is fake and everybody thinks that everything is fake out there, what what do we have to go by? You know, we if have you're, to take its word you, for if everything. You if you discredit everything that's said out there, then you know, by all means, it's gonna mess the system up. I mean, that's it's there for a reason. We don't have anything. We don't have any facts to work off of. Yeah. Well, how do we know? I mean, is it a fact? Is it opinion? Somebody make it up? I mean, what, what's, I mean, that, that's the thing, you know, you're trying to discredit something that's supposed to be there for a reason. Yeah. And anytime anyone makes an allegation of something, it's, you're automatically assumed they're guilty because it's an allegation. That, that's true. The, yeah, the, that the, the, true. the court of public opinion is always going to skew guilty immediately. But, but is the public smart? Are we smart enough to decipher, you know, with what he's saying? Because he's very good at, uh, at saying these type of, um, uh, these, these things and, and it sways 
the conversation to talk about did he really say that you know like let's say there's a controversial thing happening he'll uh he'll say things like oh it's fake and then all of a sudden the conversation becomes about what he said let me give you a good example um uh, my cousin um i probably shouldn't even have said his name let's go ahead and edit that out let's edit him out let's time edit step, that out time arc. Uh, okay got it all right so um, for example, uh, I have a, a very good cousin, close cousin of mine, um, that I had a conversation about last summer. Um, the conversation about the NFL, you know, some NFL players were <laughs> taking a knee. Yeah. And, um, you know, Trump went on on record and he actually said, if they're going to be doing that, let's fire them. Let's, let's fire these NFL players that are disrespecting the flag. Now, Luckily, and on my behalf, I actually was paying close attention to this, and I, I, I know that they were not disrespecting the flag. They were making um, a stand um, regarding police brutality. treatment, mm-hmm. you know, brutality, or, or the not even police brutality. It was police um, maltreatment of minorities. Uh, minorities okay, and, and at the time, there was like three or four shootings or killings that happened almost uh simultaneously back all back. within yeah, yeah within, within like four weeks of each yeah. other so um so i had followed that but here's the thing here's what here's what the conversation that i was having with my cousin was this it was about why are they disrespecting the flag and that wasn't the issue here that was not the issue we were we were discussing um what he said and what he meant as opposed to the facts what are they standing for what what is it so historically trump has been very good about uh using his words and discrediting the media or anybody that's in a position to either make him look bad or um make the government look bad or whatever the case is um and 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 the question here for me is are we smart enough to decipher that? I think I have. I think I've kind of learned to deal with some of his his BS. Um, you know, I, I don't necessarily believe him or some of the media as well. But but not not because I don't believe the media. I don't think that they're doing anything false. But it's obvious that there are certain networks that are more biased against and towards. I think we've all seen yes. that. So yes. what I'm saying is I'm in the middle. I feel like I can see both sides. So should you watch like both CNN and uh, Fox and Fox at the same time? So that way you can get like, literally, I'm it's not going to lie. Night, really. Look, it look, really is. I was, I was going to say the same thing. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Cause like, basically I watch like clips of Fox news and they're like basically bending over backwards to suck his dick. But, yeah. but, uh, it, but then like, weird cause it, you look at two points of view of the same story and it's like, damn. No, man. no, damn. that they actually, like, that happened like, to me. Whoa. That happened to me. Uh, I was work. I was at, I go to the gym. Ladies. Yeah. Ladies. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I go out of the gym and they actually have a, a treadmill. Like the, this upstairs has a treadmill and then you have TVs yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah. there are two TVs. They're like all they're the covering different. the same they're, issue. <laughs> So the TVs have uh, one is uh, Fox and one is MSNBC yeah. and then one is CNN and so you see the same story but the the headline the running headline yeah. is worded differently covering the same topic and like it's got a different. I slant. believe that. Yeah. And yeah. I'm like, damn. And so if you can actually see it at the same time, it's really crazy it's, how it is crazy. It's you would see like a shot of like Trump is like walking out of the helicopter, but you get like different uh, bylines. Yeah. So it's all about perspective. If I'm a hardcore Democratic, you know, uh, Democrat. believer, Democrat, I'm sorry, Democrat believer. Um, and I'm listening to like CNN or, or you know MSNBC or NBC like, or whatever. I will, you know, like I'll drink the Kool-Aid, it was it was right? like I think it was, the byline was about. Trump so what am I going to do? Violence. I'm going to go on Facebook, right? And I'm going to have this 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 belief that all all of that's true, and I'm going to get passionate about what I'm saying, and all of a sudden, what I'm saying is opinions, mm-hmm. right? Because I'm getting this information, which is geared to make me believe a certain way, and I believe it, and I'm going on Facebook and I'm fighting with all these people. And guess what? I'm not a racist. I don't think I am. And if I talk to somebody who's either white or black or whatever, and I'm having these passionate conversations, if I'm if I'm a Republican, for sure I'm going to be called a racist. If I'm a Democrat, I'm I'm going to be uh, called all these things, you know, um, that are aren't true. You know, oh, you just want to give uh, welfare to the people, or you just want to help. You. No, it's not true. I I care about making. Um, our society better you know i care about some of those things and and 
yeah, you know, one thing that we're talking about is gun control. That's another big thing. Like somehow racist or, or uh, not racist, but um, our, our, our race has a lot to do with how we're perceived to think, you know, and that, that, that kind of like makes me upset. Honestly, I, I think um, we all need to learn how to, like you said, like kind of what you've went through that eye opening, like, you know, uh, I can't believe I believed the crap I was <laughs> believing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We all need to go through that. We all need to go through that, you know, but, but the thing the question is, is how, well, that's, that is a mentally taxing thing to do. Yeah, like it it's not, it's not, I'm not saying like, I'm not trying to like overstate it, but like there are certain things that people want to do is live their lives to, you know, get on to get by kind of thing. Complacency. And so complacency, like they're having to go to go through what, what I'm going through is just something that it takes a lot of time, takes a lot of mental energy and takes a lot of reflection and a lot of discussion and that's something that people just don't, um, you know, necessarily are prone to go through. Like when you have this kind of conversation yeah. and you don't, I was like, oh, you don't agree with me? And then just kind of like. Yeah, we're yeah. like we, we all forgot uh, how to have yeah. uh, good conversations, you know, and I'm guilty of it. I'm, I'm sure I'm guilty of it um, because, like I said, we can be passionate about how we feel. Yep. But we, we need to learn how to have good factual conversations and not take things personal and not make things personal. Right. Um, and that's what causes a lot of issues. Like, like Trump, I, I believe that he was a good business guy. He has to be for him to have that money. From a leadership standpoint, he doesn't bring us together. He divides us by the words that he says, by his actions. Um, you know, what happened in, in, in Charlottesville, North Carolina, about, what, seven months ago? Mm-hmm. Um, you know, he's our leader. We, we look for him to quickly respond to something. Is, it you know, Char- is the Charlottesville the one where there was a tiki torches or is yeah the tiki torches and I think a, a gentleman a lot of good people on ran the- his car into a crowd of protesters. There, there's a there's a lot of good people in there on both, on both, on both sides. sides. You yeah. know, th- those are the words. And and guess what? I'm gonna come out and I'm gonna say, look, that's wrong for him to say that. And then you're gonna have a lot of his supporters come after me. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And I, you know. I don't know. I don't know. It's just he's not somebody who's bringing us closer together. He's actually dividing us. And perhaps that might be a strategy that he he's playing on. Um, I don't know you if that's what it is. When you do that. Exactly. He does. You know, so is we he, all have to be very careful. Is he good at being president? I mean, like I'm talking about like in the sense that from he's, an executive his, turn, his turnover, his turnover uh, is apparently uh, supposedly like the highest percentage ever in a year. And also, not to mention, he didn't even fill in all the positions for um, the yeah. the cabinet positions weren't all filled in or still yeah, aren't. You know, I mean, he, he likes to boast a lot and um, he likes to be very critical of you know past administrations, right? And uh, what I mean by that, he you know he always brings up like, oh, you know, by this time I'm already doing this, and it turns out everybody comes back and, and he has to eat his words because he was hypercritical. Mm-hmm. Uh, of someone before and then now it's like they're bringing it back i said hey at this time you said this about this president but you have already far outdone him in this area you know it it has come up in a lot of subjects yeah and um he likes to uh, change a little bit of the facts like um he's been called out before fill, no. he had to feel like he has to fill like 125 positions for federal judges and Dang, he, he that's was crazy. Thinking, and he was thanking Obama for that, right? He's like, oh, thank you, Obama. He goes, I can't believe he did that. I can't believe that he allowed me to do that. But the Republicans actually blocked him from doing that at Why? the end of his... Oh, uh, Obama. Uh, oh, yeah. So Obama. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Admin, no confirmation. Yeah. Right. No, through no confirmation. confirmation. Yeah. And he was thanking Obama for doing it. And I was like, okay, like, that is a literal mislead because that's actually not what happened. What happened was... The Republicans stopped him from doing that, mm-hmm. and he was thanking Obama for doing this. He was thanking the wrong person. So he's trying to make himself look a little bit smarter than he really is. Like, oh, like, you know, oh, this is great for me. Obama's dumb or whatever, you know. But also, that's actually not he criticized Obama about using so many executive orders to do things, course, except, and, he's and then he does it. Like, <laughs> all the time. He's like, man, executive orders, you know, like, and then, and the next thing you know, like, I was like, was watch playing a clip, and the next thing you know, yep. he's using executive he's orders to do thing, yeah. on day one from from day one. Yeah, like yeah, I'm like, huh? Is that a? I don't know. It just in, in, in terms of turnover, I, I, there there are some presidents that are pretty up there percentage wise, um, you know, and it's not uncommon for for him to bring in uh, new leadership, especially as 
uh, the, the turmoil and all that kind of stuff, all these changes are happening. Um, but I can tell you that it looks bad on him simply because he came in here with, with the confidence. He was going to change things up. Um, he's the best leader. He, he's, you know, the art of the, art of the okay. deal type of guy. Um, so you wouldn't expect for this to be happening. But what makes it so funny to me is that uh, he has a lot of things going on from a, from, you know, from a legal standpoint, you know, he has a couple of suits, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, I know that the Department of Justice is investigating him on his involvement, if there was any. I don't know if there is right. or not, uh, with with the collusion, with the Russian collusion and stuff like that. So, um, I know that there's a lot of people that aren't necessarily kissing his butt, or would you say, like, yeah. sucking his dick, you know, because they're afraid. They, they, they know that there's a lot of stuff going on. John Kelly, he's, he's working with the Department of Justice. Um, I think they, I think they already said that Michael Flynn is working with them as well. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> I think that yeah, and they're real close to actually getting his his son in law. Like they're 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 circling in pretty. And, close and Robert Mueller's by. been trying to interview Trump for like forever, right? Right, and yeah. and, and and Trump is looking like he's wanting to, uh, but the, they had a meeting last week and they were talking about what questions they're going to be asking. They're trying to negotiate what's what's uh, what can be asked and what can't be asked. Because they don't want Trump to, to incriminate himself. I think there's a level of absurdity that happens whenever you have, whenever Trump's, <laughs> the Trump's attorneys have attorneys. Yeah, 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 they do. Yeah, yeah, you're right. And they keep uh, quitting on They're them. They're quitting on them. No, they are. <laughs> Actually, that's crazy. Uh, I heard about that. You know, that uh, he can't hold yeah. his legal counsel I think it's for because this. he likes to tweet a lot. I'm not sure. Yeah. yeah. His yeah. tweets so don't do him nice. any favors, do they? That was something that just came out that he liked to tweet like three to five in the morning when nobody's around, so they can't stop him from doing it. So. <laughs> well, Vox, um, they're, they're a website. Yeah, they Vox. actually called him out that um, his tweets coincide uh, this Fox show. Oh, Fox, the Fox, and, Fox Friends. and Friends. Yeah, yeah. Did I you, saw did that you video. see that? Yeah. Um, so as soon as Fox and Friends, they make some kind of announcement or they'll say, they something. say something, he'll tweet it. He'll tweet and with right. seconds later to support like, that. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why he gets his reputation that he gets his information from the news, right. uh, which is pretty hilarious to me, actually. I, I mean, I think that's kind of crazy. Yes. Seth Myers would have me believe that um, he's a very incompetent person that gets his reports and likes to have his name in there as many times as, as many possible. times he can. Yeah. Which I don't know. Supposedly how that's... there was one person who, who quit or, or I don't know if he just narked on him. He said that he was one of the writers and he had to have his name in there as many times as wow. he was yeah. writing for him. I did read that, but and I think it was the same thing that you were talking about. So yeah, or, that, did, that did come out. Or whenever he went to a, um, um, they were having a, a special election, and um, he goes to endorse the candidate. Yeah, but in then Alabama. He talks about himself. Is it Alabama? Right. I forgot. Uh, I think so. I think it was Alabama, and he so. did talk about himself. himself. And he actually forgot about the to candidate. endorse the candidate. Yeah, the entire time. Yeah. <laughs> That's that hilarious, nice. man. Yeah. So, so then is it nepotism? Um, Ego. Or, or I'm sorry, not nepotism. I meant, I meant to say, is he um, a narcissist? Narcissist. narcissist, or is and he just a sociopath, or um, is he, or is he like a lot of people are saying? Is he old and is he like you know is he dementia? Not dementia, we, but we, is, we don't know. I mean, he passed that one test. He can identify a deer. <laughs> <laughs> I read about that. Yeah, yeah I think there was a news article where he didn't know what the post post office. Post office? Did. Wow! Yeah, what? Today. It was today. Wow! That's huh. crazy. I, I didn't read the article, you know, in all fairness, fairness yeah. I didn't read it, but in the article, it was making fun of him about that he did not actually know what the post office did, so they were making fun of him. Oh my god! So I was like, whoa! Like, really? I'm like, well, anyways. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, investigate for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't talk for. I didn't read the whole article. Yeah. Is there anything that he's doing right? You know. 